December of 2010. I was writing a regional mathematics olympiad somewhere in North Delhi. I was only doing okay given how challenging the exam was. I think okay was fine, but I remember that there was this question number 4, the notorious question number 4. and almost everybody that i talked to after the exam including my teachers and and other people who gave the exam as well were rather baffled by the question and to my surprise i was the only one who was able to solve it well who was able to solve it within those eight people that i talked to but something <laughs> You know it doesn't take much for a 16 year old to have the ego boosted. So there was this seed which was planted that day that perhaps I was good at maths. Over the past few years as I have ventured into other fields of science into engineering into psychology and basically not having the time to be able to work on my mathematical skills as much as I used to before I have felt that the lingering effects uh, that the ego boost had from 10 years ago have kind of been fading away. So to test myself, I actually tried the question number 4 from my regional mathematics olympiad paper once again a couple of days ago. And surprise surprise, actually to nobody's surprise really, I was not able to solve it. I wasn't good enough anymore. The final nail in the coffin though was when I saw this Instagram post by my brother. When I saw that board, I could not understand any of it to be honest. Uh he studies mathematics by the way in his university. He also has a YouTube channel with a terrible name but good content. Funny content. You should go check it out. So I couldn't help but think all those years of learning mathematics and its nuances. have they all been in vain because now i'm not even 50% of what i used to be and if so what is the use of the limited mathematical abilities that i have left do they not have space to flourish in this world anymore perhaps not and that's why i went looking for answers elsewhere i want to send a message into space and i want to send it using mathematical fundamentals i personally feel that mathematics is universal and perhaps our best chance at communicating with the extraterrestrials and i will venture into that a little bit deeper later on in the video as well but for now i wanted to talk about how i plan on sending a message into space in the first place it's not that complicated because there is a website called space speak which lets you send messages into space in the form of images maybe text or even sounds so what they do is that they use radio wave technology to send your message into space they give you a this cool marky as to how far away your message has traveled into space really so i designed the cryptic message which is basically in the form of a sound but before sending it i wanted a proof of concept that this this sound albeit cryptic at least utilized fundamentals of mathematics to decode itself into a coherent message and thankfully i had a few friends who were up for the challenge feel free to decode this message with us along with the video right we should start so right now i think you've downloaded the first folder which is the message i want you to do is that i it's a 1 minute sound clip and you just need to listen to it and just try and decode it okay it's a 1 minute clip and you can listen to it as many times as you want to so should i play now yes <laughs> did you notice anything that you would that could help you solve this uh yeah basically i noticed two kinds of beats yes yeah it's binary oh uh, yeah binary i'm guessing what you're looking for is some sort of a pattern right yeah that's what i thought pattern in in the sound itself yeah okay so this is the first thing that you've resolved so you resolved it into binary that this is a binary thing so if you had a pen and a paper you'll probably assign one of those as zeros and one of the other ones as as ones right i mean not to so so what we can do is that we can go ahead to folder 2 now uh the prime did you use pdf 
yeah so binary strings of zeros and ones this code that i the sound that i played was only a fragment of the entire sound that there is if you arrange all of this zeros and ones into sounds uh, you'll get like a 20 minute sound i played a part of it which is just like a minute long so there are exactly 1763 digits in this pdf so i want you to think about 1763 also if you if you just see the pdf is there something which is which which you which you look for immediately when you're trying to decode something yeah so i see a binary sequence and straight up i think i thought of it probably being an image okay so 41 into 43 which are two prime numbers in themselves right arrange the zeros and ones in uh, 41 uh, 41 point the combination of 41 and 43 rows and columns yes and there multiplication is 1763 is this supposed to be a matrix of 41 into 43 well done well done go ahead and open folder number 3 yeah now it's more evident so i was constantly pulled towards three rectangles which were like some organized shapes and then bunch of gibberish uh, down there it's like a barcode acha i should i scan it this is barcode scanner so you want me to scan this library of babel oh yeah library of babel i thought of this shout out to harsh mehta who taught me about this this is a library which claims to have all the words all the sentences and everything that has ever been said and that will ever be said in the future oh my god <laughs> we are in some christopher nolan shiz <laughs> type in anything i, I will type priyadarshan is professor if i search this i can see that there are quite a few occurrences where this exact statement has been said or has been documented in this library yes priyadarshan is professor i can see that this is a very cool and a very um, like creepy thing also i mean if you look at it in this way that this holds everything that we want to know about us in the future everything that we want every scientific formula every scientific explanation every science theory that will ever exist in the next next thousands of years is is in this is in this library let me first tell you why i wanted to make this video and so i'm making a video wherein i am sending a message into space cool <laughs> okay well i first wanted to send this library of babel to them because if they can have this they can probably know everything about us everything that will happen to us and everything that is currently happening right now so this look like the perfect piece for just sending to someone uh, who who is an extraterrestrial so that they can understand who we are what we were and where we can come from probably bhaiya maza aaya aise general generally aise baatein hoti hain is topic pe it was interesting to see them approach this really and i wanted to know more about why they did what they did while trying to decode this and what they think about the universality of mathematics when i gave you that sound your first instinct was breaking it down into fundamental patterns which was uh, in 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 that case a low beat and a high beat immediately you went towards finding a pattern which is inherently mathematical Uh, patterns are inherently mathematical binary is inherently mathematical so i wanted to know why you did that i mean i think it's also conditioning whenever you hear such patterns which are not human so- sounds or like even animal sounds which do not which inherently sound robotic you kind of uh, think in terms of maybe like computers or you know which is basically math on steroids first thing comes into my mind like that um you know it's like more code or some coding language is there so from there uh, and with the highs and the lows you, uh, you can think only of the two patterns so either it can be a zero or a one and we have also studied in our uh, like uh, from engineering background that uh, many subjects we have used zeros and combination of zeros and ones so because of that i think it uh, stuck uh, in my mind that it may be like the binary case immediately my brain was able to like no there are two tones there's two things happening nothing else maybe like there was silence as well so if you want you can go to a third tone but immediately i ignored that there was no music obviously uh, it was too discreet to be a music it was random as well i guess i don't remember it having like 
one zero one zero, so you can make a beat out of it. It wasn't like that. So I think music was out of the question. The main point of discussion that I that I wanted to initiate: What if this was actually a language? What if someone actually spoke like this? And if you see, if you recollect, even the way we talk in normal English, Hindi, any other language, there is a recurring pattern. There is some sort of tonality towards it. Like this is the way we talk. And if if I had to map like a tone for it, there will be repeating tones several times during when I use the language itself. And there are certain rules and structures towards how you speak certain set of words when combined together, and then they repeat again and again and again. So there's always these patterns. So eventually, all languages can be defined mathematically. All languages can be divided into binary repeating patterns. Even in terms of computer science, you have hundreds of languages. Mm-hmm. At the end of it, it's always converted to zeros and ones, ones, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, just agreeing to your point, like it's yes, z- just zeros and ones can go very far. I personally feel that if there is one universal language that can help us talk to species that we don't understand and communicate with species that we don't know about. uh then it is probably mathematics and that is what the primary objective of this video was and i think that probably we agree on that right right so obviously this is not the exact message that i'm planning to send into space because i have a feeling that perhaps qr code is not such a universal concept in fact perhaps they might not know the concept of binary the same way that we do So what I'm planning to do is that instead of sending them some gibberish in binary I would send them something that helped us discover the binary system itself. So there is this paper from 1703 called Le le rythme le explication de l'arithmétique binaire par Leibniz. Why was I even trying? In this paper the author says that uh, he used hexagrams for creating the binary system and the binary arithmetic like we know it so i have decided that i'll be sticking with the binary sound system uh, the highs and low beats that are used and i'll also be sticking with the matrix composed of two prime numbers i feel that if i am able to plot a hexagram uh, in that matrix through zeros and ones and then convert it into sound like i did in this Uh, demonstration as well i have a feeling that perhaps it gives us a chance or gives them a chance rather to discover a system for themselves and then further translate the next few messages <laughs> that i'll be sending as well <laughs> i don't know maybe it is a stupid idea i really don't care and i feel good about it and and i feel excited sharing it with the rest of the world and also the rest of the universe <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. Special thanks to Rispur, to PD, and to Tiagi for helping me out with this video. Absolute gems. I'll be link. There'll be link to that in the description. Go follow them anywhere you find them. I hope I was able to showcase what an absolute gift mathematics is. It links all of humanity through patterns, through languages, and for some people like us, maybe through our fascination. with what's beyond humanity as well so it doesn't matter what your proficiency is i mean by just counting ones and zeros math gives you perhaps the best chance of having a out of this world conversation and that in itself is is pretty special as always all the stuff that i've used in this video all the puzzles all the messages everything if you want to decode for yourself links to everybody is in the description below including the library of babel babel i'm i'm still confused that is also linked in the description below and you have to go and check it out that's perhaps the most fascinating thing that i've seen in a long long time to be honest apart from tenet anybody else watch tenet my final video of the year is done and enjoy your time off uh, stay with your family talk to your family talk to your friends a lot of us will be spending their vacations by themselves i hope you go and reach out to them and until i see you next time take care that was so fucking formal please cut it now
एक्सेप्ट कर ले भाई रिकॉर्डिंग का पूछेगा नहीं 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 वही घूम जा कोई दिक्कत नहीं है वो भी ठीक है भाई कोई बात नहीं इतना धार्मिक चैनल नहीं है मेरा भाई वो बेटर था मेरे ख्याल से 